Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Haley and Honey. If it's your first time here, welcome. So I want to share with you guys how you can make peace with your past. This is going to be really important on your spiritual journey and on your healing journey. When we are taking a dive within ourselves, things are going to surface. Things that are yet to be resolved. Of course, things have happened to all of us and maybe there's something that you're still carrying with you even though it's in the past and so we want to be able to like face what's happened and learn how to release it so that we can really move on and let go and create something new in our life and that really is what healing is and so I found this old journal entry and I wanted to share it with you so if we're talking about like releasing a past relationship an ex or a bad situation some form of trauma or something that happened as a kid something painful that's happened in your life and a lot of times we don't even know what it is like if there's some type of vague feeling hidden within us and so to be able to truly feel better and free yourself from negative vibes then spend some time with yourself and be present with how you feel and allow yourself to feel safe with yourself so that your true feelings can surface okay now you can be there for yourself and make peace with your past okay so how are we going to do this what we choose to believe about ourselves is the reality that we're going to create so your mindset is so important in your life and for your life so many times there's patterns or we can be in cycles like things keep looping whether it's feelings or events and it's happening that way because we've yet to resolve it. We've yet to face it. So how you make peace with your past is facing it and just seeing it and moving into acceptance, like accepting that it's happened. You guys, for me, so many things that I've had to resolve in my own life, a lot of times I just didn't know what it was or once I realized what it was, it was hard to accept because what did that mean about me? What did that mean about other people? And and so it's healing is like a journey, it's a process, it doesn't have to be so scary, but you do have to be brave and courageous so that you can see yourself with clear eyes and the things that have happened in your life with clear eyes. So heaven or hell is a mind state, it's a state of mind. And you can keep yourself in what feels like hell or you can rise up to what feels like heaven, which is like peace and love and feeling good from the inside out but it's up to you to liberate yourself and it's hard to feel peaceful it's hard to feel loving or happy if you're carrying darkness with you every single day if you have unresolved issues that you just haven't been willing to face or maybe not knowing how to make peace with your past well the first thing is just to realize how much power you have within yourself and you're equipped. You know, the creator is not, did not allow anything to take place in your life that you're not able to handle. So you're strong and it's happening for a reason even when we don't know what that reason is yet. So it doesn't matter what it is. It could be something tiny or it could be a huge event that really shook you up, really rocked your life and changed your mind. But your mindset is what we wanna look at first. like and know that, okay, I can break the destructive thinking, I can dive into my subconscious mind and change it. I can shift it, but first I have to look at it, like I have to address it, because how can you change something that you haven't looked at? How can you change something that you're not willing to face or that you haven't accepted? Once you accept that something bad has happened, okay, now you're on the road to make peace with it but you're never gonna feel peace if you won't even address it, right? Once you face it, okay, now you can change your perspective. You can change your mind and change your story around that event and shift into a more positive state of mind. So try to look at the situation with gratitude. Find a piece of gratitude in what happened, whether it taught you how to be better, it taught you how to be stronger, it taught you what you really want from life, it taught you about your own morals and what you really value, it opened your eyes to something you didn't know before, it tapped you into compassion, it tapped you into love, it helped you grow because you had to learn how to overcome it. So just try to change your mind on 
like change your perspective on it, change your story around the situation and this is gonna help you to make peace with your past. Like for example, for me, and I know a lot of people can probably relate to this, uh, my parents divorced when I was a little girl, so I grew up without my dad in the house. Now I did see him every other weekend, sometimes it wasn't every other weekend, and I missed him a lot. And so that was like a bit of pain that I was carrying with myself throughout my life. I was like feeling bad for myself because for one, I was feeling bad as a little girl, right? Like you need both your parents. And even though I love my mom and I had was surrounded by family, I still was wanting my dad's presence in my life okay so then later on like if I didn't address that in life I would be carrying that sadness with me so instead I changed my perspective around it I realized that it was actually healthier for both of my parents to split up I realized that my dad was is not perfect like everybody's on their own journey just because two people are your parents doesn't mean that they're perfect they're just having a human experience like you but when you're a little kid you idealize your parents and think that they can do no wrong but it's just not true so i had to have compassion and love for my dad to know that he made some mistakes and that's why he wasn't in our house every day and that he did love me to the best of his capability but that it was my job to love myself and so you see i freed myself from those from that sadness or the abandonment wounds like i was abandoned as a child was there something wrong with me i wasn't lovable oh my gosh other kids had this lifestyle i didn't they had both their parents to hug them at night and it's like you can reparent yourself and you can oh my goodness comfort yourself really be there for yourself and that's why i tell you guys to be soft with yourself when you're on a healing journey. Be tender because they're sensitive things and we can self heal when we learn how to be there for ourselves and be compassionate with us, truly validate our feelings because the world is so harsh and it's gonna tell you who cares how you feel, everybody went through bad stuff, just like be more tough and strong. You do need to be strong, but it's okay to also be soft. You can be soft and strong. Validate how you feel, reparent yourself, comfort your inner child, and this is true healing, right? And this is how you're gonna feel better and you're gonna build such deep trust with yourself because now you're allowing yourself to actually feel. You're allowing yourself to express what has been repressed or pushed down, afraid for it to surface because, oh, does that make me weak? It doesn't make you weak. It actually makes you super strong because a lot of people are unwilling to do it and then they're just feeling like they're carrying sorrow and, and you don't have to. And so just be, be there for yourself. Didn't try to change your mind because you can lift yourself up to a higher perspective or you can stay stuck in lower emotions and then you might feel like a victim. Instead, empower yourself, free yourself, and tap into love, loving yourself. How to make peace with your past. The next thing you wanna do is learn to let go, surrender it. It's the past, right? So we can't change it. We can feel our feelings, we can be there for ourselves, maybe cry a little bit, maybe learn some things, change our perspective. And all those things are beautiful, but it still happened. And the only way to truly move forward is to let it go. And it's very powerful. And a lot of us, like it even took me a while to get to that point because so many people have been stuck in a painful in pain for so long, whether consciously or unconsciously. And so we can start to identify with it. We can think that we are our story but it's not true you're the soul and the awareness in this body you're not your body you're not your thoughts you're not your emotions you're not what's happened to you you're definitely not your mistakes and so you're just a spirit experiencing things in this plane in this realm and so we free ourselves and we start to heal when we let it go we surrender it to the universe we have to have faith that, okay, everything happened for a reason.
nothing is out of sight, everything is connected. And so why don't people want to let go? It's like they, because it gives them an excuse to stay stuck. And sometimes they just don't know or, but to avoid repeating patterns and to make peace with your past, learn to let it go and surrender. We have to release control. We can't control everything. And we're also not down here to have a so-called perfect life. That would be so boring. <laughs> you are gonna face challenges, things to overcome, and you're on your own hero's journey. So surrender to what has happened and to bring more joy into your life and into your heart when you release the bad things that have happened. Now you're making space for new energy new experiences because remember what you think is what you're helping to create in your life so if you're carrying too much pain you're going to attract things that bring you more pain all of the time and then now you're in a circle like in a cycle because you haven't learned it yet so it's best to just like awaken and face it be strong so that we can move forward okay so how to make peace with your past you gotta let things go you know, something crazy has happened in your life. It was hard, it was painful, it was traumatic. Accept it, try to learn from it, be present with how you feel, and then make the conscious choice to release it so that you can move forward. Okay, so how to make peace with your past. Um, forgiveness is a huge part of this, and this is why we're growing spiritually. When something tough happens in your life, Choosing to forgive someone or other people involved in the bad situation, knowing that uh, when you tap into love, you are you're truly healing yourself and you're extending compassion for someone else, which we all need compassion. It's very hard to move through life without forgiveness like if you don't forgive you're the one who's going to feel bitter you're going to feel resentment angry at the world sad and then be lashing out at other people some people hide pain in weird ways <laughs> but like coping mechanisms bad habits just bad stuff and so how to make peace with your past forgive i know it can be hard to do but work on it and it's possible wish somebody well you know like it's there's something really beautiful and powerful about trying to or taking choosing to take the higher road and rise above a negative situation because when you stoop to somebody's level and let's say you start hating them or you whatever try to get them back revenge you refuse to forgive you're going to be on the same vibration as them like do you want to be just like them do you want to cause and spread pain all around? Like, what is really resolved? Now you're just like in a huge pity party with this other soul. And it's like, nothing has been accomplished. You're just in darkness. So instead, tap into forgiveness, compassion, and miracles will unfold in your life. Your heart will be healed. Your mind will feel lighter and free because you've extended grace. You know, you, and so... Just sincerely wish someone well and let them go. Just because you've forgiven somebody doesn't mean that you have to be around them. You can create distance. In fact, it's healthy too. It's called boundaries. <laughs> Energetic boundaries, physical boundaries. You can forgive someone, wish them well, wish them peace and healing, and then separate themselves. When you separate yourself, when you separate yourself from harmful people, you're showing yourself true respect and self-love you're protecting your energy and you're allowed to do this it doesn't matter who it is it could be family friends someone you've known for a long time but you don't have to let someone hurt you all of the time and if they're not in a healthy energy like in a healthy space a healthy mental space then you have to like separate from them so that you don't get entangled in their mess i know so many people that they'll stay around toxic individuals because they say, oh, that's their family or they raised them or something like that. And they're like, they feel bound to them, but it's it's a, like a very unhealthy, negative 
dangerous situation and then they're just like feel loyalty to them so they just stay around and they become susceptible to this other person's like abuse or harm or negative energy and you don't have to do that like love yourself more <laughs> they might call you selfish or crazy who cares what they say get away from them right like you deserve to be in a healthy energy and that means surrounding yourself with healthy individuals people who are consciously working on themselves self-aware can take accountability are tapped into love higher vibrations like if you're working on yourself then be around other people who are like you self-aware because otherwise <laughs> okay, so how to make peace with your past you guys drop me green hearts if you're still here for the heart chakra <laughs> okay so how to make peace with your past to adopt the belief that it happened for a reason to serve you you guys some some crazy things have happened in my own life where i used to think it's impossible to forgive this situation it's just too heart shattering to forgive but later on i realized that it was so much bigger than me and that it affected so many people it happened to bring things into the light that needed to be healed and so it was i had to not move from my ego and not be in bitterness and resentment for the rest of my life but instead trust god and have faith that okay there's things happening like this needed to happen and i that i can heal and that it doesn't mean that that is all that i am right and so you're not the things that have happened to you or the things that you've experienced. They're just experiences. It can teach you, it can sharpen you, refine you and elevate you. It's gonna bring you higher up because you're gonna learn how to rise above it. This is how you make peace with your past. Change your mindset around it, you know, and truly let it go. Wish that other person well, truly forgive from your heart. You're gonna feel so amazing this way that you're gonna, be like oh that thing used to bother me like this thing happened but that's in my past okay you guys so two more things one thing is later on you're gonna realize why these things happened like whatever the situation was you're gonna get get a literally a higher perspective on it something that you might not even know in the moment it might take years and years for a revelation to just come upon you like for god to reveal it or for you to learn something about the situation a missing piece of the puzzle that you didn't know before and you're gonna see in that moment that it happened for a reason and it was to serve you it wasn't to hurt you or to harm you you actually, you prospered from it in some way, shape, or form. And so just wait on it, have faith, surrender to life. That's what faith is. Like, you don't know why, you can't control it. It just happened. So trust it, like trust life a bit more, trust yourself and your journey, but free yourself and cleanse yourself from the negative feelings so that you're not harboring, like you're not carrying pain with you, right? Because we're healing we're healing so the last thing I want to share with you how to make peace with your past is to remember that bad things that have happened or things you've been through it's not a reflection of your self-worth and so sometimes we can get confused and think that the way someone treated us or what we've been through in our life defines us and that's our identity that's our mind saying like we are these experiences but you're not and so separate from your experiences and tap into self-love and self-worth and know that a lot of times people do things and it has absolutely nothing to do with you it's what they're choosing to do it's where they're coming from and you were just in their way you were just happened to be there wrong place wrong time but again everything is working together <laughs> what people do is a reflection of, of them Right, and so that's why we wanna work on our internal world so that our outside world can reflect something beautiful. And back to the example of like when I was a kid with my, with my dad, like I might've, as a little girl, I remember feeling like, okay, well, like um, that somewhere inside, I couldn't, I couldn't put it into words, but the feeling was like, I wasn't good enough for him to be around or if I, was better like if i was in a better family let's say he would be there right if i was 
if he was better this or that like the worthiness thing when instead you can just be like people are not perfect like it doesn't mean you're less worthy it means that everybody's dealing with some form of pain like he was a child at one point too and he went through things and his parents went through things and their parents went through things there's generational trauma and we're in a world that can traumatize us because we're in a crazy matrix <laughs> so awaken to your power awaken to love within yourself for yourself be soft with yourself also be strong know your power and have faith surrender to life's experiences try to gain the lesson and this is how we're going to make peace with our past so drop me a comment i hope that this video helped you in some way i'm sending you so much love and peace and healing on your journey and power take care of yourself and i'll see you in my next video